Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. So being a member of multiple Reaper forums, I know this to be a very commonly asked question. Somebody's bringing a track into Reaper, they import it, and then they go, oh shit, forgot to change the tempo. So as you can see, for example, right now I have a track and the tempo is 95 and our project tempo is 100. So if I turn the metronome on and I play it... It's not in tempo. Well, cool, no problem. How hard is that to change? I can just click on the BPM counter here and I can type 95. Should work now, right? Huh, that's weird. So not only that didn't fix the tempo, but it also changed the pitch of the song. So what the hell? We can even see that like at the beginning, my song starts on beat and then from here it kind of falls away and the pitch changed. So that's weird, right? This is where item time base comes in. Now by default, when you open a new project, you can set the time base for items. So you go to your project settings. Here in project settings, you have time base for items, envelopes, markers. And for me, it's set to beats, position, length, and rate. What we want to do is set this to time. Now, because we've already started the project, I have to change this for the item so i come here i go to item time base and i set it to time now the reason the pitch changes because we changed the rate of the sound so i have to also fix that and i hit apply and i come back here now what we want to do is we want to make sure this is on beat one it should be correct now Cool, so now it's in tempo. So what happens? So basically when you have your time base to beats, position, length, and rate, Reaper goes, okay, I'm assuming the media item is already in tempo. So if we change the tempo, I'm gonna shrink it so that it's the same length in terms of our timeline. So as you can see right here, our file starts a little before measure one and ends right on measure 74. So with this on position, length, and rate, if I change the tempo here, Reaper will change the rate of my file so that it still starts slightly before measure one and ends right at measure 74. But because you brought in your project and forgot to set the tempo, you first have to rectify that. So when we set it to time, Reaper no longer cares about the project tempo. All it cares about is where in the timeline you place the file and it will keep the file at that place. So if I change the tempo, where measure one is or where measure nine is will change, but the time where this file is set won't change. So now our item time base is on time. If I change this to 150, as you can see, measure nine got considerably closer to measure one. And measure one went back but our files position didn't change at all so if we bring it back to 95 as you can see we're back to measure nine measure one and all the measures being in the same place well so what's the best practice so the best practice is if you know what tempo your song is going to be first set the tempo then import the file otherwise what you can do is you can go to your project settings and set the time base for items envelopes markers to time and then when you bring your item in it won't change your playback rate and you just find where measure one is and your song will be in tempo if you made a mistake and you brought the track in before changing the tempo well before you change the tempo you got to set your item base to time make sure your playback rate is one then change the tempo and because your item time base is time it won't be affected by it and then after that i can set my item time base back to beats position length and rate so in the event that i want to speed this up it speeds up my file appropriately. Or maybe I want to make it slower. So I set tempo to 85. So my file overall got longer and the rate changed and... Otherwise it remains totally in tempo. So item time base to time is really useful for when you have a track that's already finished, if you're mixing or something, you don't care about beats, you don't care about it being kind of warpable, right? You want it to not change. In the next video, we're gonna talk about these other three time bases. So beats, whether it's position length rate or position only or auto stretch and where to use each one so that you'll be clear on time base and hopefully you can troubleshoot this area yourself. Make sure before you bring in a project based on your needs to set this time base. So for film, projects or for mixing and mastering projects i set it to time if i'm doing any kind of like loop based work i set it to beats if i'm working kind of on sample based uh, compositions i'll set it to position so we'll get to all of those i hope you enjoyed this video bye bye